Like smooth as glass up here, isn't it? Yeah, that's beautiful. It's like how pilots must feel. No, this is like how God must feel when he's flying a plane. <laughs> It's like, oh god, whatever now, we're doing it. 8 Whiskey, contact Buffalo Approach 126.15. 2615, 3 Whiskey, have a good day. I like this plane. Yeah, really it flies nice. real nice. Of course, it flies real nice in weather like this. Yes, indeed. It's a good IFR plane, too. In case you find yourself an IMC. Did we go to Franklin the last time we flew? I think we landed there. Yeah, I think we did. We did uh, Franklin uh, and uh, Port okay, Meadville. What's that? We did Franklin and Port Meadville. Yes, indeed. Was Franklin the one we peed at, or was that Port Meadville? It's Port Meadville. Port, Port, Port Meadville. Actually, we're going to fly almost, uh, we're going to be just to the west of Port Meadville out there. See those little bumpy hills over here? Yeah. That's where Port Meadville's at. Beautiful land out there. One hundred and twenty five over the ground, we're showing one hundred and twenty four. So there's really no wind. GPS line? Yes. We're almost in on it. <laughs> there you go. Visibility one. Yeah, so there's your course line if you keep that centered. Okay. Or this one. Automated weather observation. I'm just staying focused on a visual uh, land mark. Visibility one zero. Here approach 7351 Delta Charlie, 22 southeast, inbound the hotel. Seven three five one Delta Charlie, I down southeast. Four thousand five hundred. Seven one Delta Charlie, radar contact, two three miles. Southeast of the Erie Airport, and will this be a full stop? This will be a full stop. Request uh, vector ILS uh, two four. Send one Delta Charlie rudder fly heading three two zero vector ILS final first course. Three two zero vector final first course three five one Delta Charlie. All right, you ready to fly to RV two one Gulf Shore yet? Need to go on there for a minute, I turn it off. We're on flight following now? Yeah. Well we got a we got a squawk code. Every time that lights up they're they're painting us with their radar. And if you push this button it it makes it glow on their screen so they see you. So like if I call him out here in the in the boondocks, he doesn't really know where I'm at. So if I uh, push that on his radar he's screen. Going screen going yet. On his radar screen, RV-21 Gulf Juliet, your departure, radar contact. Climb maintain your requested VFR altitude and proceed on course, 38 Delta for RV-1 Gulf Juliet. Uh, Roger, 21 Gulf Juliet.
Down 1 Delta Charlie, maintain VFR. Maintain VFR, 1 Delta Charlie. Trigger 06 Mike, contact Young Stan Approach, 133.95. Young Stan Approach now, 133.95, thanks for the help, 06 Mike. Young Stan Approach, 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 Cherokee 2806 Mike, level 3500, heading 134 direct Franklin. Two eight zero six Mike Youngstown approach. Youngstown number three zero one seven. The altitude and aircraft height. Uh, three thousand five hundred feet. We're Cherokee one eighty. Three zero six Mike Roger. Altitude check. Beauty, beauty, beauty. We are twenty six miles from Franklin. Oh, uh, the most I can. Winds are calm at Franklin. We can pick our runway. Now we're talking the Youngstown approach down here. They're actually over there, off our wing. There's Port Meadville out there, sitting. Nine, eight o'clock, <laughs> yeah. eleven o'clock, about ten. Ten. Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> if it was a snake, it would have fucking bit me. I peed behind that building, but I did not have sex with that woman. goes off and then curves back in. That's been my visual landmark the whole, the whole way. Awesome. Yeah. You're a good teacher, Donnie. Awesome. Get your rivets set up. I didn't even think of using the rivets on this plane, but that's a great idea. Yeah. Visual rivets. Okay, pattern altitude is... Uh, 23.40. Down approach, here is 479er, Bravo Charlie, 8000. Number 35377, Youngstown departure, radar contact, proceed on course, VFR altitude at your discretion. Proceed on course, VFR altitude on discretion, 377. Uh, yes, sir, full stop. Radio 6 Mike, roger. Advise me have the Franklin Airport in sight, such 12 o'clock and 1-8 miles. Okay, we'll advise uh, in sight, 06 Mike. is for now, because we're only at 3,500 plus our, our pattern altitude is 2,340, so you're only going to come down to about uh, 
About a thousand feet, right? Yeah. Starting to get a little roll, rolling hills, there's 79 below us. Good afternoon, is that jet 657 on 18.5 for 11,000? Do that jet 657, Young Sun Approach, Young Sun Approach 3017, descend and maintain 6,000. 3017 down to 6,000, jet 657. Uh, I don't quite see the airport yet. All the way up in that haze out there, see? Uh-huh. Doing a wonderful job. Thank you, sir. Actually, looks like a little grass field right down there. Next to those silos. Yep. Oh, there's a lake out there. It's probably further out. Could land there if you had to. Out approach Cherokee 2806 Mike has uh, Franklin in sight. 2806 Mike, Roger. Traffic five miles west Franklin, west northwest bound, altitude type unknown. No other traffic between you and Franklin. Radar service terminated, squawk VFR. Change advisory, frequency approved. Have a good one. Okay, we'll squawk VFR. Thanks for the help. 2806 Mike. One, two, zero, zero, back to VFR. He's not watching out for us anymore, so we'd have to do it for ourselves. And we're going to switch to advisory, which is 1227. You can start descending to 2,340 feet. The Cheetah is on a go-around for 27, Ray. St. Thomas traffic to the archery, Mike is downwind for 27. Pull it down if you're trying to descend, you can pull back on the throttle a little bit. You don't want to pull back too much because you'll super cool the engine, so you just keep a little bit of throttle going. It's called a cruise descent. Tell traffic system 609 or 59, reporting traffic pattern to the north. There's a guy ahead of us right over Franklin right now, about uh, 5,000 feet above us. See the airport out there? Yep. Yep. Just a long stretch way out there. Oh, okay. Straight ahead. Yep. Should be just about directly above the airport. Can't see him. Sail traffic night x rays here on down with the 28 right sail traffic. Bangor Regional Traffic, Cherokee 2806 Mike is 9 to the north e uh, northwest inbound for landing, Franklin. Is 5,300 feet above us. I see runway 10 and 28. Yeah, we'll use 28. Okay, I'll follow wherever you go. Okay, we're going to put our fuel pump on, we're going to put our nose light on, and our other lantern lights. So we're lit up like, like a Christmas tree. 20, uh, 2300 you say? 2340. 2340. So right about in there. No. Sail traffic, that x ray is here, it's our face, uh, 28 right, sail traffic. Uh, Salem traffic, got two RVs coming in from the south. We're about uh, five minutes out. Hey, Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> I got, got, got. I'm headed to James South. Who's up? I got the penguin. Well, I don't see him at all. Uh, Isn't that something? Sheesh. 
Jones, our traffic Cherokee 6097 Whiskey, turning crosswind for Yeah, I got him now. He's way up there, Sam. Farm show. Okay. Uh, you know, you can see him. He's up there with the little tiny dot. Negative. Okay, you blow pattern, so let's add a little bit of power. We're still Down looking track. at that X-ray here on final for 2A right down track. We're going to go for... Zero, 3, a left cross, 3 knot left cross. So traffic Cherokee 609 or 7 Whiskey downwind for runway 18, full stop farm show. Right cross. Angle regional traffic. Cherokee 2806 Mike is 5 to the northwest. Uh, we'll be entering left downwind runway 30 full stop, Franklin, but Angle regional. Okay, why don't you go that way just a little bit, sort of head towards the end of the clearing over there. RVs, uh, we're 10 from the south. We're descending out of 35 for pattern altitude sail. I don't hear anybody up here. is one we're going to land on, so we want to go out and down. As soon as you get a beam, they, the end of the runway, you're looking straight down the runway, start turning back towards it. Okay. Right about now. Sure. Just stay about a mile out that way. So you probably want to go over that building towards the end there, see, but going that way. Now I turn. Yes. Stay out that way a little more. Huh? I thought that runway there. We're, we, yeah, but we're we're gonna go downwind on this runway. Oh, we're landing this yeah, way. We're landing. Oh, okay. That's good. You can start turning that way again now. Downwind. Keeping the altitude. There you go. What you want. Parallel with the runway. Yep. Benango Regional Traffic, 2806 Mike is a left downwind runway 30, full stop. Benango Regional. Don't want to lose the altitude. But don't want to grip the uh, yoke with the death grip. The death grip. <sighs> yeah. Head back down now. So what? You're heading back down. Yeah. That's a good distance. We're about a mile from the runway right now. A lot of bumps here. You okay? Yep. It's cool. Just be, just ride it. Yep. Light touch. Slow it down now. Want to feel me through the uh, landing? Yeah. Just keep your hands and feet light and feel it. Okay, we're going to slow down. We want to get in the white arc and then we can grab our first notch flaps down. Yeah, hop the plane. And then we're going to check our carb heat. Just run it for a second. We're going to descend and then we're going to start to turn. Benagra Regional Traffic, 06 Mike is turning left base runway 30, full stop, Benagra Regional. Okay, keep descending about 500 feet per minute. Second notch of flaps in the left base turn. You can touch it a little tighter than that, just don't take control. Unless I pass out. Uh -huh. I think I could probably bring it down. Wouldn't be pretty. Okay, the gear's down and welded. Start the brakes off. Second notch of flaps. We're going to get our last notch of flaps and keep descending. Benanga Regional Traffic 06 Mike is final runway 30 full stop. Benanga Regional. Phone's on the floor. Got to take a picture. Sorry, Don. All right.
Donnie is our leader. Over the fence at 75. Hey, you didn't do duck, duck, goose, goose for me the last time. Not yet. I want duck, duck, goose, goose. Duck, duck, goose, goose, you do. Huh? Looks like a runway shorter than it is. <laughs> Objects on the runway may appear smaller than they That's long. Don't want to skid it to a stop, so just take it reasonable. Release the flaps helps with it. Now pull back on the yoke helps with braking, aerodynamic braking. And then we're going to slowly turn it around. Fenangan Regional Traffic 06 Mike is back taxiing runway 30. Fenangan Regional. Awesome. Okay, yeah. fuel pump's coming off, nose light's coming off, we're going to leave it. Southbound traffic, Cessna 737 Uniform Echo is uh, 10 to the south, inbound for 25, James South. You always want to make sure when you're getting ready to cross the runway you have all your lights on, your strobes and things. Yeah. And you want to announce what you're doing. Full lights. Venango Regional Traffic, 06 Mike is crossing 213, taxiing back on runway 30, Venango Regional Traffic. Okay. This is Franklin uh, Regional Airport? Yep. Venango Regional. Oh, yeah. Venango. Okay, yeah. that's why it's not pulling up. Franklin Venango. 